Wait. Hey, Shell. Your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this? What do you think that does to a kid? I'm trying to protect her from it as much as possible. Things are stable here, for now. I want her to grow up with this, not what's outside these walls. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Okay, but be careful. People's lives depend on those. We can't have them screwing up because we got lazy. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. Did you ever find out what happened there? No. Roman said it was like this when he and Stephanie found the place. Could be anything these days, though. Still, better not to think about it. How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. What? Nothing. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. Looks weird in here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. Hey, Becca. Think we should start charging for the inspections we make? Oh, yeah. Then we can spend all our money at nowhere. We should do an inspection on these. Make sure they all work. God, what I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee in the morning. This hasn't worked in a long time. Smells good. Glad we thought to bottle our water before it ran out. Ooh, starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. I don't miss going on raids for this stuff. Oh, you 
scared me. He's hungry. I guess he knows it's feeding time. It's disgusting. Can't disagree with you there. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. This is far from an easy life, Roman. You know what I mean. She needs to know the sacrifices we have to make to survive in this world. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Again. Whoa! What's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. <sighs> you just... You can't go jumping out at people. Not anymore. It's not safe. But... What if I had a weapon? I could have thought you were a walker. What are you talking about? I... <sighs> Look, I... I just saw our walkers out back eating a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me you know it was it was so little you don't think about babies anymore but after a while you just kind of accept this is it yeah I guess you kind of forget <laughs> right but then you know there it is you see it and you want to protect it and and now it's gone that sucks Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell! Becca! Something's going on outside! What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. Come here! Everyone! Shit! Come on, we gotta find Roman. This month. It was so care to be fair. Jesus. Largum. L My God. L Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. Who is he? I got no idea. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck in. Second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him on his what way. What if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. We can't take the risk of letting him go, but why not let him stay? I guess that would be okay. We could always use more hands keeping the place secure. Boyd, we don't need any more people here. And look at him. How is he, he gonna... He can't even speak English. This group works because we know how to communicate. Are you judging him based on race? Of course not. 
But come on. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. We stole their boat from that teenage kid at gunpoint. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Jesus Christ! Are you serious? Roman's right. It's gotta be one or the other. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? We have to set him free. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us? That isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm not ready to let that go. Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Oh, Give him some food, when, three or four cans, just as a gesture of good faith. And get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying, but you better understand this. You came this close to death today. And if you ever, ever come near this place again, or tell anybody where we are, you wish you had died today. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. I mean, it was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Did anyone see you leave? No, no one saw me. You've got to stop doing that. You're going to get us both in a lot of trouble. I don't see why it's such a big deal. We had another break-in just last month. Uh, Becca, you know what it means if someone were to see you and follow you back here. No one is following me. There's no one else out there. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you, uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Give us a minute. Yeah. Just don't take too long. What was that all about? Maybe he found out about the boards? Shit. You think so? If he did, I won't say anything. But... You better stay away from there for a while. Okay. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back.
come no one's watering these? Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what is it? They caught Stephanie stealing, and then trying to escape. Oh my god. What are they gonna do? I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Maybe she wasn't. Maybe she just wanted to get outside these walls for a while. Ever since the incident you've made this place feel i don't know oppressive we've made it safe and she was definitely trying to escape she had most of our ammo and medicine with her she screwed us shell all of us and now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go you do know why i'm telling you this right yeah you want me to take care of it you and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. Well, we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now. And I need to know that you're with us 100%. Let's talk to her first. See if we can talk some sense into her. No. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. If we give her a second chance, she might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? What I'm gonna say is gonna be hard to hear. What is it? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of ammo and medicine and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? She's just scared. She made a mistake. That'll be her last mistake. Becca, Stephanie is your friend. Was my friend. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. <sighs> Let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there, in the drawer. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. No, I'll do it. 
You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. Shell, it's time. What are you doing? Shell? Shell, what the hell? Sit down, get safe. Shell, hey! Shell, be safe on the promise. We were right. There are survivors out here. Still alive? Oh, they're gonna be happy to get rescued. So how many are we talking about? Around five, I think. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best. so good. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Be careful. Don't try to force him into anything. Just get as many of them as you can. You got it. Hey! Don't shit! <laughs> don't fucking move! Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. How did you find us? I found your note. I'm a scout for a growing settlement up north. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food, clean water, and shelter for everyone. We're offering you a chance to help us out and start over. God, this sounds too good to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because you have to tell the truth all the time doesn't mean everyone else does. If I didn't trust people, I'd be dead. I know that for sure. People can care about you if you let them. Like Leland cared when he let you run off alone? That's enough, Becca. Guys, look. If I learned one thing from Danny, it's that we have to stick together and protect ourselves. What? That guy was an asshole. You should be happy he got killed before Shell and Becca joined us. Why? Don't worry about it. Wait, you find survivors? Do you find a lot? Not as many anymore, but... Well, we gotta go. Eddie might be there. Why? Look, we need people, plain and simple. And you folks can decide if you want to come as a group or split up or whatever. But I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. So in a few minutes, I'm going to be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. Well, I'm going. Maybe we should go too, sis. If Roman is still looking for us, he wouldn't be able to do anything to us there. There's no way that guy is still looking for you. We've been to that truck stop. There's no one left. Roman's not a problem. It's following her that'll get you killed. Look, I know it's a risk, but what else is there? If you guys are going, then so are we. I don't like this, guys. We should just walk away. I don't trust her. Of course you don't, Russell. You don't trust anyone. I'm not lying to you. How do we know that? You don't. You don't have to come, but we'd be happy to have you. I don't understand what the problem is. Are you really considering staying out here? Foraging for food like fucking raccoons? I mean, then why did we even leave the photos there? Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. We've all seen it. Well, we turned out all right, didn't we? If we wanted to kill you, you'd be dead already. I had a gun and snuck right up. Well, what's stopping you? Exactly. Nothing. Look, I know you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. And yeah, 
There are some crazy fuckers out there. All I'm here to do is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. The choice is yours. So, who wants to come with me? Yeah, I have to. I'm... I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long and seen so much bullshit. I mean, is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. We have people of all ages in our colony. Teenagers. Whole families. It's a chance to reconnect with people the way you used to. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well, I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? This is a good thing. I know it is. How do we know this will work out? What's the alternative? Staying out here? Allora ragazzi, interessante anche questo, diciamo, questo capitolo di The Walking Dead eh, Mi sono andato a leggere un po' due o tre cosine prima di iniziarlo Praticamente questo qui è un filo conduttore tra la prima e la seconda stagione del gioco Dove praticamente vengono, diciamo, inseriti i nuovi personaggi che poi, cioè nel senso, 
ti fanno un po' empatizzare quei personaggi della seconda stagione. Avete visto che purtroppo due dei personaggi non verranno nella, nella prossima stagione. È un peccato perché li avrei voluti tutti. Però vabbè, fa niente, adesso vedremo un pochettino come, come fare. Non vorrei rifare il gioco, più che, cioè rifare quella parte lì perché mh, secondo me le scelte che ho fatto l'ho fatte bene. E quindi nel senso, secondo me è giusto così. Tra l'altro una cosa che volevo dirvi, alcune volte che ho fatto delle scelte in The Walking Dead... Quella è un po' più stronza, eh? Non l'ho fatto apposta. <ride> cioè, più che altro perché alcune volte, era, le prime volte, era che cercavo di capire un secondo il gioco, e quindi mi è capitato di fare delle scelte del cazzo, <ride> alcune volte. Però nel senso, diciamo che eh, la serie comunque mi è piaciuta tutta. La prima stagione di The Walking Dead sarà difficile da emulare, sono sincero. Dicono sempre comunque che il primo gioco sia sempre quello più bello, eccetera. Vedremo se sarà veramente così Comunque, detto questo ragazzuoli Spero che il gioco vi sia piaciuto Fatemi sapere nei commenti che cosa ne pensate E ci vediamo alla prossima Sempre qua su Vensin TV con un nuovo gioco The Walking Dead 2 al momento non è ancora in programma Se sarà in programma lo vedrete presto sui canali Sul mio canale Ci vediamo alla prossima ragazzi Ciao belli Mi raccomando mettete un mi piace e iscrivetevi Ciao ciao